You are now listening to the Blind and Ginger podcast. We're on. We're finally after all that bullshit. That was a, that was an absolute epic of a of a fucking uh, debacle. That's as, a good word, debacle. Eh? As debacles go, that was a bad one. That was a, a hell of a debacle. We've been trying to set this up for like an hour. Yeah, uh, we we're having some technical difficulties with the laptop, with the audio proceedings. But uh, Anthony's a quick learning and a uh, very well self educated individual. So I, I just went on Reddit, reason. dude. <laughs> I just went on Reddit. Bro, let me fucking give you props. Bro. Oh, thanks, Jesus man. Jesus Christ. No, it's been, I'm having one of those weeks, dude. Everything's going wrong. What, what's so? What's happening this so, week? Car accident on Saturday. Bro, that's nothing. <laughs> um. <laughs> No, so I've been yeah. wondering if I was going to talk about it on the podcast, and I've decided to share my story. <laughs> no, I got rear-ended. Okay. It's fucking annoying. Yeah. Um, that's all. Do you, know, do you know what's annoying about getting in a car accident? Is everyone you tell is like, oh, well, the good news is that you're okay. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not okay, because now my car's got to get fixed. I'm not going to have it for two weeks. I can't go anywhere. Massive inconvenience. Massive inconvenience. I'm going to consider killing myself heavily. Like more and than you normally would. More than normal. Yeah. yeah. More than usual. Yeah, that is a fucking bitch. Yeah. So are you f- You were actually physically all right from it? Yeah, I was fine. Yeah. Um, I was just in a slip lane and the guy just hit me at the What's back. What's a slip lane? I mean, like a left turning lane. Oh, okay. Yeah, when yeah. it's like separate, there's like an island in between the... Oh, true, yeah. true, true. Yeah. And one of those, he hit me. He was a nice guy. It was whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now I'm not gonna. My car's fucked, and do, I drove it to work on s- Thursday, and I drove it here, and because the the fucking everything was all caved in, and I called my mum. Yeah. yeah, from the back. I called my mum. My mum's like, "See if you can open the boot." Yeah. So I did that. I opened the boot, and then the boot wouldn't close. Oh Jesus! Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck sake!" So then I, my dad, came, and like, <laughs> just forced it fucking shut. <laughs> Just full man strength, like just tradey strength. Yeah, bro. Just <laughs> pushing it down, gets the latch and like forces the latch in. Holy shit! But now the car thinks the boot's open. So is it just beeping? It's just beeping oh, all the time. Fuck's sake! Yeah, just being like, hey, cunt, the boot's open. Oh, you might want to close because you can legally drive with your boot open. Can you really? Yeah. It's like officer. It's a, it's it's my new spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> But you know how people have like Christmas trees and shit in their car? Yeah, true. As long as everything's secured properly, it's illegal. Oh, I didn't know that. But it's like you shouldn't go on main roads and shit. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, so the car's not like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, hey man, just letting you know, boots open. Yeah. Just thought I'd update you. Constantly. Yeah, just every yeah. minute. Like, hey dude, not sure if you're aware, uh, boots open. That's a fucking, what's the sound like? Is it a super annoying sound? It's just like a beep. That's not as bad as far as annoying beeping sounds can go. It could be worse. Yeah. Did you hear that? What? It's like an air being released. I don't know. Oh, it was just a car going by. Oh. Yeah. Car that probably <laughs> sounded like it works. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the other thing. Because I, I work in St. Kilda. It's an hour drive from me. And yeah, the that, whole time... That, that's... For people who don't live in Melbourne, for where you live is... That's incredibly far. Yes. That's from the... Top left corner to the bottom right corner. Yeah, actually. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking bitch. I'm going across. I'm in G in GTA Five terms. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going from the desert airport <laughs> to the actual airport. <laughs> <laughs> and and I was driving, and I was so in my head the whole time, and I was really. T- I had like three hours sleep. Right. And so I did like a bad merge, and I'm like. Yeah, everyone's looking at me going, that's why your car's fucked, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And as soon as you... St- I, I always think that about cars that have fucking have dents and shit yeah, in them. Dude. Like, yeah, I can see why you fucking got that. Yeah, and I've noticed people have been like, stay, like driving further behind me than usual. Cause they're just going, Fuck, that's probably a good thing. Yeah, but I like, as soon as you start thinking, as soon as you start going, I think that they think, you're in a fucking made up world. Very true. You're in a world that completely exists inside your own head. That's so true. So I was just thinking that the whole time. And then I got a fucking parking ticket. <laughs> in St. Kilda. In St. Kilda. I've been illegally parking at this place for three years. Yeah. And I got caught this week. Fuck. How much is the fine? 92 bucks. That's pretty good as far as fines go. Yeah, I've had way worse fines. So you're having mild fines and mild fucking car sound noises. Yeah. Oh, and the guy didn't have insurance either. 
Of course. So does that fuck you? Nah, he still has to pay. It fucks him. Oh, good. Because of that, he dude, he was just like this fifty year old Arab guy. He's like, yeah. Nah, brother, I'll cut. I'll get. I'll sort it out for you. Like, oh, he was trying to fix it for you. Yeah. Oh, that's the most Arab shit ever. And I was like, Nah, I think I'll call. I'll. I'll I can just let insurance sort it out. He's yeah. like, No, bro. How much is this car, bro? That's, I, that's <laughs> legit in a Super Wog sketch. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro who, 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 it was literally that. <laughs> and he's asking me how much the car is. And I'm just, I'm like, oh, it's my dad's car. It's my, it's not, it's my car. Yeah, my, yeah, it's yeah. my dad's car. I don't know, i got to ask Dodging him. Dodging all fucking information. Yeah. And he starts like calling me. He's like, he's like, bro, you reckon your dad drives this car? <laughs> what the fuck? You just hit me, you shit <laughs> car. No. <laughs> fucking critique in my fucking car. Yeah. And he's like, Bro, what is this? Maybe like 15 grand? I'll replace that for two, bro. And I was like, oh, let's let the insurance company sort it out. Yeah. Was he so, driving a nice car or what? Um, oh, I don't know much about cars. It looked like a normal, just yeah. a normal car. But his car was, my car was way worse than his. It sounds like a, re- like he was obviously in the wrong, but very much in the wrong. Dude, I think he was fucked up. Yeah. Because it was Eid. Oh, true. And At the they, end of Ramadan. And they were all just getting fucked up. I reckon he was uh, fucked up. Or, or he was like texting or something because he hit me pretty hard. Did you see the video? Uh, it came out like the last week or so. It was some video some guy took of this guy who uh, he drove this car across the Westgate. It was like a uh, maybe like a RAV4 or something like that. Right. Like sort of a SUV looking car. Yeah. Bro, the car is fucked up. <laughs> Fucked up from every side. The bonnet's fucked. Is that the Asian guy? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> so, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's wrong. Did anyone <laughs> even see it, bro? The, there's a huge <laughs> dent in the fucking bonnet of the car. Like, the guy, like, went 40, 50K. And the front it, bumper's dragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, into a fucking pole. The right-hand side of the car's all scraped, scraped and everything. So the guy who's filming is like talking to the guy and the guy's just full slumped over. Got to be on the fucking H, <laughs> on the good shit, right? So the guy who's filming walks around the car. He goes around to the other side of the car and there's no tires. <laughs> yeah, That's there's a- no fucking yeah. tires. No, do you like, know, do you know where it was? It's just rim. <laughs> it's just rim. It's not even like shreds of tire. There's no fucking And rubber. it was sparking. It was sparking. <laughs> and the sound was horrific. No, do you know where it was? It was at... <laughs> and they're like... They're like, what happened, mate? He's like, oh, someone hit me. <laughs> Sean, why hit me? <laughs> someone hit me. It took you all your fucking tires off. God, what the fuck? And, it, and someone hit you and happened in- to dent the opposite ends of the car. Yeah, he said, <laughs> someone ran into the back of me, bro. There's a fucking, there's a fucking pole-shaped dent in, the, in your engine. In your fucking engine. Yeah, dude, that's like once I, um, I hit a pole as I was going into a, a car park. Yeah. And it just scrapes like my front bumper, and I got home. And my dad's like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah. Uh, my dad w- gets really so angry about when my car gets something wrong with it. Right. And I was like, "Oh, someone must have hit me when I was parked." And he's like, "No, you retard! You've clearly hit someone." <laughs> he's like, "The way it's done, there's no way you didn't." I was like, "All right, yeah, I hit a pop." <laughs> but do you want to make me laugh at that fucking video? What? It wasn't on the Westgate. It was Pie Face on Kings Way, South Melbourne. What's that? Um. Oh, how do I describe it, dude? This pie Face is in, like, the fucking restaurant chain of fucking... That sells pies. Yeah, yeah. On King's Way, there's a server that's got, like, a Hungry Jacks and a Pie Face in it. Yeah. It's, um... It's, like, where Channel 9's... Rec- like, Triple M's recording studio is. It's, uh, oh, shit, okay. You know when you're coming off King Street? I don't really know it that well, but, yeah. You know when you're going down King Street and you get into that massive fucking four-lane... I don't even know what King Street oh, is, bro, to be honest. Dude. Well, King's Way is, like, the busiest street in Melbourne. Right, okay. You know, um... I don't know how... To, yeah, you wouldn't go there. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. One of the, like, one of the busiest roads in Melbourne. He's yeah. like, oh, someone hit me. Someone... <laughs> so it was funny, dude. <laughs> and he's just... I was in a car. <laughs> he's, and I swear to God, during the video, his seat gets further reclined back. <laughs> like, during the... I swear to God, it does. You don't see the car move or anything. He's just further and further slumping fucking further back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a fucking good video. And logically, if someone's hit him, he's all like, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Someone <laughs> somehow hit him. So, someone somehow hit the front passenger side and back driver side of his car. Yeah. And by and somehow. Then, and then ripped all the fucking tires <laughs> yeah. off. That's so they, hard to they do. They got out with I, like a lightsaber. 
Because <laughs> that's the only thing that would cut through a fucking tire. <laughs> and remove the tires. <laughs> and then smash the back windshield. <laughs> and then... And then <laughs> gave the driver heroin. <laughs> yeah. And then he thought, no, nah, I can make it home. <laughs> I can make it home on this. And fuck getting insurance. <laughs> I got the guy in <laughs> insurance this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fucking... That's all-time classic. That's one of the best videos to come out of Melbourne. Oh, that was so, great. That's so fucking good. That was great. I love a video like that too when you recognise where it's filmed. You're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my hood. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that way, way, that way about Parliament House, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so what else happened to you this week? Um, so, oh yeah, I got the fine. I thought it was pretty funny illegally parking and then getting angry about being fined for illegally parking. But that's most people who get fined for shit. Yeah. For speeding and everything. But my thing is, surely the guy would have seen, like, my car was completely fucked up at the back and gone, this guy needs a break. Maybe I won't give him a $92 fine. No, you probably you drew just... attention. Maybe. Well, everyone had, everyone was fine. Everyone in the car park was fine. Oh, okay. Do you know what the car park is? You know the gig we do on Friday nights? There's yeah. the 7-Eleven and yeah. there's a car park behind it. Is that one? It's that one. That's where I parked. Oh, I didn't know that would have been illegal. It's a three hour parking until midnight, but I've been parking there as long as we've been doing that gig and I've been working there and I've been fine. Yeah, right. So it frustrating. Are you going to keep parking there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Yeah, my my when I show, I told my mom I got the fine. She's like, "Well, now you know not to park there again." And I was like, "I'm definitely park. I'm yeah, parking I mean, there on still, Sunday." How many times would they have to fine you for you to have made a loss on parking there? That's a good point. I've, I reckon I've made money off oh, 100%. that illegal parking. Parking in St. In, in St. Kilda in that fucking area is a bitch. It's, I don't oh, even have ridiculous. a car, and I know that. Yeah, it's fucked. That's the only one. That's that's it. That's the only one to go to. Yeah. And do you know what's so frustrating is our office has an underground car park. But our company doesn't get access to it. It's the company that owns the building. So where the fuck does everyone else park? <laughs> Illegally. Good luck. Yeah. Fuck, that's shitty. Yeah, it's fucking it's annoying. That's a bitch. I had a pretty yeah, funny bro. week. Yeah. I went to... I, went, I did fucking heaps of shit. I went to the AFL footy on Monday. You went to the footy? Yeah, I went... I went Because my mate from Canberra was in town. And he's yeah. like, he, he likes, likes going to the... Is that the, the one AFL. I met? His name's Lachlan, have you met him? He looks like you. Nah, that's my mate Arden. Oh, okay. Nah, yeah. he thinks AFL is just as gay as I think it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, tell me about, tell me about AFL. Um, uh, dude, it's fucking good going to the ground. I still don't really get some of the rules yeah. and everything, but it's... it's Fuck, going to the G is fucking pretty epic, dude. It's I was there on Tuesday. Yeah. It's a privilege, dude. We take yeah. it for granted how good it is. Yeah, it's pretty fucking... But I was like... That was a good game too on Monday night. Yeah, but my thing was like the Rich- Richmond are playing the D's. It's a home. It's a, the demons. Demons. It's a home game for the demons. Yeah, but they're getting booed. Yeah, at their own fucking home game. I, I've never really. Um, I think that's the the only negative of the G, is that everyone. It's everyone's fucking home game, and Richmond is literally. It's basic. The MCG is basically in fucking Richmond. Yeah, the Richmond's the nearest station. Their playing going. fucking field is on the same mini map. Their train, you can see their training ground from the MCG. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and it's a fucking away game for them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. What the fuck, dude? Dude, I got one better. Uh, a couple of years ago in the finals, uh, Geelong came first, Collingwood came fourth. So it's Geelong's home final. Right. But the AFL went, nah, this game's going to draw a crowd. Fuck playing it in Geelong. Yeah. So Geelong played it as a home game at the MCG. <laughs> and they were just like, what the fuck? And Carlton are fucking <laughs> 10 minutes away. Yeah. Five minutes away. Geelong had to make a two-hour bus trip. <laughs> For a home Collingwood game. players were just strolling in. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Collingwood players woke up from a fucking nap at 11 a.m. Yeah, dude. And <laughs> yeah, the Geelong was just like, this is, this is retarded. That is retarded. <laughs> What what's the capacity of the Geelong Stadium? Like twenty? Okay. I don't know. I'm lying. I don't know. But the MCG is obviously the most. It's hundred. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh the next day, Tuesday, I went to see the NRL. Yeah. The Storm versus uh, the Warriors. That was fucking good, man. The Warriors fans, they're from New Zealand. I was looking at it, I'm I'm like, fuck. Half of their fans could fucking play. Yeah, for sure. Legit, the for big sure. fucking Polynesian guys. I reckon if if the fans had to play each other, 
the Warriors would fucking smoke everyone. <laughs> They would fucking completely... They should do that. They should make fans play each other. They should. They would completely dominate. Because you got all these, like... There was this fucking... Um, it's just Islanders, though, bro. Dude, there was it? this set of uh, Melbourne fans behind me. There yeah. was this funny as fuck Maori dude who support the Warriors. He was going, Come on, Warriors! <laughs> Every, like, five minutes, it was sick. It was fucking awesome. That's why I love rugby league. For that yeah. fucking top shit. And at, like, fucking half time. This lady behind me in a, a Melbourne uh, Storm fan, she's like talking to her fucking friends. Do you think we should call the fucking, um, look at that, uh, what's that uh, number they say to text if there's anti social oh, behavior? Oh, no she's way. Like, well, sh- should we call the anti social behavior on the fucking. That's like the guy supporting his team, you fucking cunt. The anti social behavior is for fucking terrorist attacks, you retard. Yes. And people <laughs> fucking throwing shit and fighting. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. Oh my god! I was like, he's fucking, and they were winning. The Warriors were winning. Like, Dream was racially charged. Fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah. She said Maori. It was like, why the fuck are you even gonna bring that up? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, he's just supporting his team. Yeah, no one's like, oh, that Caucasian man's causing her a ruckus. There's fucking people shouting storm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just, oh, that just sucks, me the wrong dude. way. Dude. That sucks. There's way more. Um. There's way more like racism towards Polynesians, I reckon, in Melbourne compared to like New South Wales. Right. Or like Queensland. Because they're, they're more... There's more of them up there. I think. So, anyway. Melbourne yeah, is pretty racist. It is. Very like, underratedly so, I think. Because we front as like such a woke yeah, it's city. Retarded. But like, every, everyone in Fitzroy is like... If they see a black guy in alley, they're like, Oh, fuck. Let me get out of here. <laughs> All of them, dude. <laughs> fucking oath. All of them, dude. <laughs> fucking oath. <laughs> we'll call him my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> call Who, Kurt. <laughs> they just go full Fergus. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, my brother. Shout out to Fergus, uh, mate. Love Fergus. <laughs> but um, actually, I think I compared to like the MCG, which is where I watched the AFL and, the, and Amy Park, which is the uh, Melbourne ground. Good thing about that is like the Melbourne ground. When there's like a try scored, you can see all of the fans. Yeah. Whether the MCG, because I was in the nosebleeds in the MCG. Fuck, like 50% of the fans that you kind of cut off from your line of sight. Amy Park... Oh, actually, I was going to say Amy Park sucks. It probably just doesn't suck. It's just that we're regularly going to the best stadium in the world. Amy Park is actually one of the better rugby league stadiums. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. yeah. It's it the like the domey things on the side are fucking sick. I like those. That, dude, driving past that at you're, night. You're close. Fucking yeah. bad. No, it's, we were sitting like behind the try line. Oh, that's sick. Fucking sick. Fuck, they hit each other hard, bro. Did they fill up Amy Park? Yeah, it was uh, 24K. Because the A-League, there's always empty seats. Yeah, the A-League's goofy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen they've been posting um all these highlights from like the women's... They're really trying... Because they're getting around the Matildas. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I already know where the fuck this is going. And they'll post like whoever the top scorer is in the women's A-League. And dude, she's like, there's one goal where... It was actually a good goal... On her behalf, but the keeper just makes her look retarded because, like, dude, the the ball goes into the net and then the keeper fucking jumps. Like, oh, was that like, like the free kick? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw like that. a laggy yeah. FIFA game, and it's like, <laughs> or there's like one where her teammate takes a corner, just smacks it into the defender's shins. It smacks off the defender's shin onto one of her teammates' shins, onto her shin, and just rolls into the net. Oh, jeez. And so all the comments are just so sexist. Yeah. And it's like, don't post these goals. Just edit no. these goals out. Just leave the good ones in. You could even post the fucking first goal where the goalkeeper dives late. You could just post that and just cut before the keeper dives late. Yeah, yeah. But it just looks so bad because, like... It's, you know what's going to happen. Just give, give the women a chance. Yeah. Like... Because even, like... If you watch like a free kick goal in the Premier League and it's a fucking sick free kick and the keeper just stands there, you don't actually think the keeper's that bad. Yeah. You just go, oh, he was bested. You just think he was bested? Yeah. Could if he, if they dove fucking late, you'd think the guy's a retard. You'd, yeah, you would. Because you usually it's before the dive, usually it's the kick struck, he goes like that and that's it. It's too late. It's already done. So, he already knows it's over. Yeah. He's wrong footed himself. He can't yeah. get across. To goal. And even though if you dive late, fuck, at least you were trying. <laughs> you got a bigger chance than if you fucking stood still. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to sit here and act like women's soccer is as good as men's soccer by any means, but you know what the response is going to be, even if it's a good goal. On social media, yeah. So just give them the opportunity. 
to just or just knock show it like rid. some good passes getting strung together because yeah. that, that actually happens in the, in the, in women's football. Yeah, I'm for, I, it's I, just, for some reason their goalkeepers are retards. They're not as athletic. Women aren't as yeah, athletic as men. Very they so should, the goalkeepers are going to be worse. Do you think they should play with a smaller goal and maybe like a smaller smaller pitch? Maybe like eighty percent smaller pitch. Maybe like a nine aside goal. Oh yeah, like what we play with. Yeah, like um, twenty percent smaller or something. Yeah, because women are fucking. What's the average height of a woman? Five six or something. Yeah, even tall women are like five ten. That's very short for a, a professional goalkeeper in in the men's game. They're like six four on average. Well, they're adding women to FIFA Ultimate Team. Oh really? And it's like you're not going to be able to use any female in your back five at all. They're gonna be too oh, short. You, you're going to have women playing in the men's. Ultimate it's going to be mixed. Oh shit. Yeah. Wow, Which that's, that's everyone's crazy. I think it's pretty cool because, yeah. dude, imagine having like Sam Kerr up front just fucking banging in goals. That's I'm, mad. I'm playing the women's teams on FIFA is actually really fun. Because they're so I don't agile. Know how the fuck they pro- is that why they program it? They're so agile because they're, they're like 5'5. Five five. Yeah. They're like all Mbappe. They're like or agile Messi as or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, I, I have fun playing on those when I've played the women's yeah. teams on FIFA. So your ultimate team next year is going to be all male back fives, right. probably male midfields, right. and then like. Left wing, right wing strike is going to be women. I reckon that's cool. I reckon it's cool too. It's a fucking video game, cunt. Because f- the last couple of FIFAs, it's like, bro, it's too realistic. It's too fucking realistic. It's just, do you know the things about FIFA, in my opinion? Yeah. The gameplay is the, the least fun part of the game. The funnest part in Ultimate Team is like building your team. Building your team, yeah. doing objectives and shit. Actually playing the game fucking sucks. Yes. It's shit ass. I reckon it was, I know this is fucking nostalgia merchant, but... I think it was it was better fucking ten, eight years ago. I reckon it was too. Now, do you even play it now? There's a new promo every week of cards. So like, do you remember like? It's too much. In FIFA 13, you'd come up against someone who had like Kun Aguero, and you're like, oh, I've lost this game. Yeah, and you know that they've either spent a fucking shitload. So if anyone doesn't know, FIFA Ultimate Team, FIFA's a fucking soccer game, on Xbox or PlayStation, whatever. Ultimate Team is a game mode within FIFA, which is like all the uh, players are they're like done as uh, virtual trading cards. Yep. And you put them on your fucking little virtual pitch and you play with them. So you can just play with like your dream team essentially. Yes. It's a fucking awesome mode. And it's kind of, it's even more arcadey because their, their stats get boosted and everything. And back in the day, they would do like special um, additions of cards. Like say fucking Messi scored a hat trick. They come out with an informed card, a Messi, and it'd be like extra boosted stats. Yes, and it'd be a really hard card to get, be very, very valuable. And if you, like you were saying, if you were versus someone with that, or even like a high, high rated player like Aguero, you'd be like, they fucking either spent a shitload of money on the game on opening these virtual packs, or they're like fucking Bloomberg level fucking card trader. Yeah, like they, they fucking this cunt knows economics. Dude, I, I went to school with a guy like that who knew how to trade Ultimate Team cards. It was fucking something to behold. Like, I know, I knew, I knew one guy as well. He always had like Ronaldo and Messi by like yeah. two or three months the game was in. Yeah, and the now dude... Was shit at the game, but... <laughs> dude, now if you pack Ronaldo, it's like, oh, good fodder. I can put him into an SBC. Which is like a fucking... What's an SBC again? It's like, um, oh yeah, make, um, make an 84 rated squad with 18 chemistry... And then we'll give you a rare pack. It's like a sacrificial lamb, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. And everyone's got everyone's got the same team. Everyone's got Mbappe, like Jesus. It's just Dude, it's, it's fucking lame. It takes all the fun it's out of it. It's everything if everything's special all the time, nothing is special. It's exactly what it is. That's a great point. It's it's just it's Remember dumb. like if someone had an icon, it was like you are the luckiest person alive. <gasps> The now icons are like the legendary cards, right, from old players. Yeah, the white cards. Yeah. Now you like you should have an if you don't have an icon like a month in, you're if, behind. You're fucked. Yeah. It's stupid. I remember the first FIFA uh, Ultimate Team I played was FIFA 12. Great FIFA. Awesome FIFA. I think I didn't get an inform till like May, which was like nine months into the game. I didn't really trade. I traded a little bit. The game's dead at that point. By May, yeah. the game's dead. Yeah. yeah. Um, I traded a little bit, but mostly just played the game. And I had like, I amassed like 70 or 80k coins. And I bought like a fucking inform Shinji Kagawa. Oh, what a card. Dude, he had like 98 curve. And yeah. he just, uh, there's a, 
a shot called the finesse shot in the game, which is where you just hold a certain button. It basically does a super curvy shot. Yeah. Dude, he could just whip in a fucking finesse shot from like 40, 45 yards if you got him there. And his dribbling was sick. And I just felt like I really fucking earned it. And no one was using that card. Some people were. But it was like, I knew when when people saw me with that card, they're like, oh, fuck, this is cool. Everyone had different teams too. Yeah. Now it's just everyone's got the exact same 11. It's fucking... Yeah, it's it's just... Do you reckon they'll revert it back? I think they've gone too far. Well, they're making so much money. Why would they revert it back? True. Um... I don't know, dude. I, I was playing all week because Team of the Season came out today. Right, which is the um, it's it's like an inform, but it's you're the one. It's like eleven players who are the best from their league this season. Just get like a fucking card that's like it's the best in the game. Right? Yeah, and I've been I've been doing so, objectives. So if a player is like ninety rated regularly, their Team of the Season would be like ninety seven or some yeah, shit, right? Yeah, yeah, basically. Um, I've been I've been doing objectives and SBCs all week. And just saving up packs for this team of the season launch. Yeah. Which was so much fun. I packed three team of the seasons this morning. Fuck, that's sick. They're all worth like 20k, bro. Which They're is fuck already off. worthless. And then... Jesus Christ. And then I um, made some team upgrades. Team of the season's worthless. Yeah, dude. What the fuck is worth anything? There's nothing's worth anything. Because you can get any card you want. Is there only 12 million cards or anything like that? R9. Prime R9. That's it. Jesus Christ. Um... And then I, I was like, all right, that, I had my fun. I started playing the game. I played three games, and I was like, this fucking, this is gay. You just rage quit. This is shit. And I just started playing that new new Star Wars game that came out. Oh, I didn't know that came out. Yeah, Jedi Survivor. It's a yeah. sequel to Fallen Order. Yeah. So fun, dude. Is it what what type of game is it? It's an RPG. Oh, Op- sweet. It's an open world RPG. Yeah. And you just go and you discover like shit about you, like it's just lore. Okay. It's just yeah, Star yeah. Wars lore. Yeah. I considered not coming because I was having so much fun playing it. Fuck fair. I enough. considered. Pulling a sickie on you. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, no, a real no, a real man point. works even when he doesn't want to. It's true, bro. A real man drives to Carlton and has a conversation for one hour <laughs> even when he doesn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> a real man gets his sound mixer to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> a real man connects his hotspot to the computer and updates all the apps. <laughs> Fuck, they had it easy back in the day. Those those cunts who went to war. Dude, I actually saw a funny as fuck Joe Rogan quote. It's the only time he's ever been funny on his podcast. <laughs> he's talking to Andrew Schultz, and Schultz is just talking about how he's like, I think he's like 45, and he's like, he's like, sex, I still... No, nah, he's like late 30s. He's like 40, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. And he's like, he's, he's saying he's at a point where he's like, I still want sex, but I don't need the whole song and dance. I just want to get the act over and done with, and then go about my life. Right. Um, he's talking about like he's like I like coming quick yeah. I just want to get it over and done with it's out of my system right and he's making excuses for coming quick yeah and then Joe just chimes in with he's like well back in the day you had to come quick because a leopard would eat you <laughs> <laughs> and Andrew starts dying and then yeah. and then Joe realises oh I said something funny and starts laughing <laughs> I love Rogan man same I like, he's, he's a man cunt. yeah I, I love the way he supports young comics, dude. It's something to behold. Not everyone's like that. Dude, I've heard... Have you, you, You've seen, like, clips and stuff of the po- the um, comedy club he opened? The Mothership? Yeah, the Mothership's Oscar. great, dude. Dude, I, I listened to Bill Burr and um, Joey Diaz talk about it. They're, they're like, it's the best fucking comedy club they've been in. Oh, was Bill Burr on there? Yeah, he was on there maybe two weeks ago. And then I listened to... On nah, Rogan? Nah, Bill wasn't on what, Rogan recently. Oh. It was just talking on his own podcast. Oh, yeah. Going down there. But they both said it's just fucking awesome. They, they said, like, the sight lines are awesome. There's still, like, little shit that um, Joey Diz was saying, when you're backstage, like, three minutes, you know, the last three minutes before you're about to go on, he said, Joe, just put a chair back there. And there's, like, you know, some water and, like, weed or whatever, like, if you need it. Oh. You know what I mean? Just, like, the last couple minutes before you go on stage, where you're the most nervous and sort of, like, here we go. Yeah, adrenaline's going, like... Just, just those little, like, uh, uh, things where you can take a moment. Yeah. You know what that's I mean? That's great. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's why I really which, like Which Rogan. comes from a veteran. Got a guy who's done it for 30 years. He, he knows what comics need. Look, I know a lot of people don't like Rogan. Say what you want about, you don't think he's funny, you don't like his stand-up, you don't like his opinions, whatever. The dude's so supportive of comedy, and he's so good for comedy. Yeah. Um, and it's our world, so people probably like, I don't I think fuck he's about a this. fucking awesome comic anyways. Um, I haven't watched much of his stand-up, to be I honest. I watched, um... 
Uh, Triggered his 2016 special. Yeah. It's fucking sick. I thought it was fucking awesome. Uh, that's good. And um, I've heard his... Uh, uh, the 2019 one, Strange, Strange Times. I've heard that one's really good I've as well. I've seen Strange Times. Yeah, what do you I've think? I've seen Strange Times. I thought it was good. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Dude, I, re- I might go... I might fucking move to Texas, bro. One day? Um, I want to spend five years in Melbourne. So I got two and a half, three and a half left. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm thinking about moving, bro. I reckon, I reckon it takes five years to get as good as you can get in Melbourne. Mm. Once I feel like I'm at that point of I've, I'm one of the best in the city, I'll I'll move. Mm. And I reckon Texas is as good a place as New York at the moment in terms of comedy. I think so. And I, I think there's quite a few other comedy clubs there as well. Yeah. It's, there's a comedy boom happening there, bro. I yeah. It's good to get on. I, I watched John Mulaney's special. Yeah. What'd you think? Bellissimo. Fucking Amazing. Good. Fucking one of the best specials I've seen, I reckon. Oh, wow. I mean, one of the best specials of the last five years. Oh, awesome. It's not jokey. It's not like there's 15 laughs per minute or whatever. Yeah. But it's the story of how he went to rehab. Yeah. And it's wrapped up in this... In jo- it's wrapped up in comedic jokes. And every time you think he's going to get, like, preachy, he doesn't. He 180s it. Mm. Like, he's, he's just in the story. Like, I was being a piece of shit. Like... So I reckon so many other comics would have done like my drug issue was something I needed to confront. Like they would have taken that route. He was like, nah, he ta- he has this great story. He walks into his intervention and he's like, you know your drug problem's bad when you walk into your own intervention and you go, yeah, this is probably about my drug problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking good joke. <laughs> yeah. <dude. laughs> um, and he's, if you watch his other specials, he's, a fantastic joke writer, fantastic storyteller, and he gets in this eighty minutes of just pure. It's just excellent, dude. It's mm. an amazing special. Fuck um, yeah! And so, so many people go after like Clapter, like that clap laugh where people are like, "Yeah, like, um, I've got gay friends." Woo! Fuck yeah! yeah. He just com- he could have done that about ten times, dude, and that, he just avoids that's it. That's like what Chappelle does when Chappelle's like at his best. I think. Yeah, like he he leads you down this route where you're like, "Fuck!" I actually, he's making a great point. I really gr- agree with what he's saying, and then he just fucking flips it. And then he just hits you with the punchline. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what Mulaney did. That's awesome. I was watching it. I was like, "This guy's actually underrated as a comic." Yeah, right. Um, I guess excellent. I know you don't like to watch a lot of comedy, but you should check it out, dude. I actually want to start watching a bit more. Yes. Yeah. yeah, basically for for the viewers, like when I first started watching comedy, like every I think every comics starting out you just you can't get enough for like watching it uh and then you start out and you're sort of your act on stage is like mostly other people yeah mostly doing other people yeah i'm still in that i reckon yeah right yeah um and then you kind of learn that you're doing that so then you kind of wean yourself off watching comedy um but now i want to be like well i've kind of learned how to not completely absorb fucking every or every joke I fucking listen to. Yeah. Um, or like mannerisms or whatever. So maybe I could start watching again from like a more um, analytical viewpoint or sort of more learned viewpoint. Yeah. I, I like think. watching it and looking at like, what's their energy like? How are they pacing? Yeah. Um, that's the stuff I was looking at. Uh, but yeah. And like you already got, you started, got your style down. So yeah. I think you should be worried about that. And I think just the older you get, like the more mature you get, um, you become like less, I don't say less influenced, but you come, you become like more sturdy Yeah, as I see an individual, you know, like your personality is more sturdy. Like yeah. you sort of like, you know who you are a bit more. Yeah. And yeah, it, it, which gives you like more discernment with like what you actually want to absorb and what you don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's really good. Actually, I'm actually fucking really enjoying getting older. That's good. You know bro. what I mean? Like a lot of people fucking cut about it, but yeah, I'll be like 27 in a month. From today, and I'm, I'm oh like, really? Yeah, 27. I'm, yeah, excited, Fuck, bro. Dude. Mad. I'm excited. That's prime yeah. testosterone years, bro. It is, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I thought it, it probably would have already dipped, or no? I think it's 27 to 29. Okay, and then you're on the decline, brother. So I'm looking forward to that as well. <laughs> <laughs> more, more hey, productive. a lot of people don't get the pleasure of growing old. So, dude, that is fucking facts. A lot of people fucking don't even get born. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, another yeah. another Mulaney bit that was great was where he th- he like you thought he was gonna go down the 
um, we're out of just applaud me. I'm recovered drug addict. Right. He saw me his intervention. It was 12 people. It's like six people in person, six people on Zoom. And here's a throwaway, here's a throwaway joke of like, oh, you don't care enough to fucking actually show up. <laughs> like, um, but he's talking about how much he res- appreciates everyone that came. And I was what rolling my eyes going like, here we go. He's going to go like, without these people, I'd be nothing and get his applause. And I was like, yeah, he's going to do that. And he's like, he's like, but here's the annoying thing about when 12 people save your life. That's 12 people. So, so for now, with 12 different people, I've got to be like, no, I'll get I'll get this check. Oh, that I is a you, fucking bitch. You, no, I owe you. And I was like, yeah, that's a fucking great point. Yeah. Yeah, you, you only really want to feel that way about your parents. Yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. They actually raised me. I wouldn't exist if these people first didn't fuck. <laughs> yeah. If they didn't fuck and then actually fucking raise me. If you're lucky enough to fucking have that. Um, yeah, that's really the only people I personally want to fucking feel like I have to like make proud. Yes. You know what I mean? And I, I just love it because that's my favorite, that's my favorite style of comedy is a story or a unique point of view where you flip it Yeah, and you, and you watch and you watch and you're like, yeah, fuck that. Fucking oath. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, you really agree with it and you didn't, maybe you didn't actually know you thought that. Or you did think that, but you just didn't know how to verbalize it. Yes, or exactly. To think, or you, to even think to verbalize it. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. It was a, it was a great special, dude. I can't speak highly enough of that special. How much time we got left? Bro? I think we probably got five minutes and we should wrap it up. Anything okay. you want to get off now? Um. Oh, I had like a cool fucking spont- spontaneous moment on a Thursday night. Mm-hmm. So I finished doing a gig on um, uh, fucking in Fitzroy. Yeah. Which is like the suburb across from me. Yep. And I was walking down the street with Fergus and we see this chick he knows. And the chi- fucking cool chick. And she was like, um, hey, do you guys want to come to this? I'm going to this jazz show around the corner at the Nightcap. Jazz show? Yeah. Oh, it was fuck like yeah. this jazz show or something. And I was like a little bit iffy. I was like, oh, no, I don't know. You know, Fergus was, he wasn't going to go because he w- wanted to do shit the next day. And eventually, fuck, the chick convinced me. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll go along. And, um, she got me in for free, even though it was like thirty dollars tickets. Mad. She had like a ticket from a friend that didn't come or whatever. Yeah. Um, walked in there, just started fucking tearing up the D floor. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> started tearing it up. This guy, this guy rates himself as one of the best dancers in Australia. I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> best club dancer. One of the best club dancers. Bro, I go in there. I'm very rarely rivaled <laughs> in, in the club. I swear to God. I'm very rarely fucking rivaled. Dude, you've got ego about the weirdest things. It's not right. even ego. This <laughs> is a fucking fact, bro. <laughs> this is... F- I'm legendary. Everyone who knows me and has gone out with me is like, Hughes' sick cunt on the dance floor, bro. <laughs> Have you been out with me? No. Yeah. Dude, but ask fucking anyone who's been out with me, dude. Just the thing about you is things normal people have <laughs> ego about, like their talent. Their fun- you don't have any ego about your fucking following, which... <laughs> <laughs> Which if you if you did, I'd part of me would be annoyed. Part of me would be like, fair enough, the cunt's got 110k followers. Yeah. But then like little shit like fucking the way you the way you cook an egg, you're like, bro, you don't you don't cook eggs like I cook an egg. It's the most retarded fucking thing. Like I I don't know. <laughs> I'm just very I don't know. I'm very passionate about selective things. <laughs> you are. Dude. It's very weird. Um, you go through phases. I've noticed this. I've been your friend for like two years. Yeah. Sometimes you'll tell me shit. And I just hear and I go, oh, this is what he's doing now. All right. This will blow over in like three months. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely a phase type of guy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, big time. My brother's like that too. Yeah? Yeah. He just always like, oh, you're playing cricket now? All right. <laughs> <laughs> See how long that fucking lasts. Because sometimes our friends, like Alessio and shit, be like, what's this shit he's doing? I'll be like, bro, don't even worry about it. It's going to pass. Yeah, I just like, <laughs> I don't know. I went through like a fucking mad bodybuilding phase like the last like two three months i'm kind of just coming out of it now i'm like oh, what the fuck what i want to do now you know what i mean it's oh, just fun dude sorry to interrupt your jazz yeah. story do you know what i thought was hilarious about um i was watching our q a footage from our comedy festival show yeah and you start talking about ufc again yeah and i get I wanted cut. some retarded tangents yeah. i get cut yeah and i'm like this fucking guy's brought up ufc Every fucking night. Yeah. And it was when you met my mate and you were talking to him about UFC for like an hour and I was just standing there like a fuck sick. Like, oh, <laughs> what do I do? And then I had a massive rant about that. And then Greek mythology comes up. Yeah. And then I went, oh, 
Oh, and then <laughs> <laughs> I went on like four separate tangents about <laughs> Greek mythology stories. And I'm just jumping from one to the other back and forth. <laughs> I was like just as bad on that. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. I, I was angry at you, but then the second something came up, I was interested in. Yeah. I was like, oh, he's a 10 minute speech. <laughs> Fuck fighting, bro. That's gay. <laughs> Let's talk about some actual fucking gay dudes from ancient times. Like, yeah, you want to hear about shit. a god raping a bull? <laughs> <laughs> While he was fucking dressed as an eagle for some fucking reason? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, tell um, Fisher Jazz story. Yeah, so then. Uh, yeah, I was in there, and the show didn't start for like half an hour. So I was just fucking tearing up the D floor. <laughs> And they had a sick DJ. Yeah. That fucking DJ was playing tunes. Show starts. Show was fucking sick. They had like a seven piece band. I haven't, I haven't, I, I, cause the, I used to be in concert bands and stuff in high school. So I'd go to actually watch orchestras and stuff. Cause yeah. I was like playing flute or whatever. So it was cool watching actual live instrumentation. Like they had the lead, lead singer was playing bass. They had another two vocalists. There was a saxophone player, dude. The saxophone player was fucking sick, dude. That's like saxophone solos. Saxophone sick. And he was playing the flute as well um, during certain songs. Oh, so yeah. I was like, I was like, part of me was like, fuck it, yeah, this guy's playing the flute, dude. <laughs> uh, and he was fucking playing it well. And then they had a, pi- a pianist, and then they had two people on per- percussion. They had a drummer, and then they had a chick on auxiliary percussion, which is, if you don't know, that's like the chick who plays the triangle and does the fucking rain beads and shit like that. Oh, and tambourine, yeah. playing all this cool the, shit. The OG hippie. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just fun. And then I was like talking to this girl. It was just fucking awesome, bro. I was like, fuck yeah, it was good to do some... I was very, very much like, you know when you know you're in the moment? Yeah. And you're just feeling it, you're just vibing? It was like that moment. So it was fucking... Uh, I don't know, anyone this week, if you get an opportunity to do some fucking spontaneous shit, do it. It's why you need a, you specifically, not the listener. Yeah. You, you need to start later shifts at that cafe, so you can just say start saying yes to more shit. Very true, gigs. bro, yeah. Look, most of my most fun times since lockdown has come from just agreeing to do shit after gigs. Yeah, Like, but you're being dragged. Like, come on. All right. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of what this chick was doing. Yeah. Yeah, she was like, come on, it'll be, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? And I didn't even have work the next day. Oh, so yeah, you know, no and it was like, great. I mean, I was a bit tired the next day, but fuck it, you know, yeah. I'm fucking young. Like, yeah. when else? Fuck, yeah. fuck else am I gonna do? Twenty six and eleven months. Bro. <laughs> 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 fucking twenty six and uh seven eights. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. right, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. Yeah, beauty, bro. Yeah, hey guys, sorry this was a shorter app. Uh, technical difficulties at the start. Um, but thanks for watching. Please rate if you're listening to on one of the podcast directories like Spotify, or whatever. Rate the podcast. If you're on YouTube, like it, leave a comment. And future podcasts, we're going to be taking questions, answering, like giving advice. Yeah. Uh, that type of shit, you know, uh, a very exclusive idea to this podcast. Yeah, no one's ever done it. No before. one's ever done yeah. it. So DM us on Instagram. It'll be in the link below. And uh, and when you DM us your question, let us know if you want to be anonymous or not in whatever question or fucking whatever thing you ask. Uh, yeah, if you want to be anonymous, uh, let us know. We'll ignore that and we'll yeah. also leak your IP address. Yeah. So thank you guys. Catch. <laughs> Beautiful. Talks the cunt because he asked the question. <laughs> that concludes another great episode. Does anyone else want to have sex with a coked out John Mulaney? Also women's A-League sucks but to be fair so does the men's.